Hi guys, Angel here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Taiwanese popcorn chicken, also known as Yuan Su Ji. If you haven't had these before, they're these small bite sized pieces of chicken that are marinated in special seasoning and then perfectly deep fried until they're highly addictive to eat. Now they're often sold in Taiwanese tea shops and also in the night markets, but that's okay because I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this at home. For the ingredients, we'll need about 3 quarters of a pound of chicken thighs cut up into 1 inch pieces. And while you could use chicken breast, I highly recommend that you use chicken thighs because the dark meat is a bit more juicy and tender. After cutting up the chicken, transfer it to a mixing bowl where we'll add our marinade. I'm going to go ahead and add the rice wine, our garlic, the soy sauce, and here I've got white pepper, five spice powder, and sugar. Then going to add a little bit of ginger, freshly grated ginger. Give it a little bit more ginger. Love the ginger spice in here. Mm, this smells really good already. It's the five spice powder. So we're going to go ahead and cover it and put it in the fridge and let it marinate for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we'll need some fresh basil leaves. I've gone ahead to wash these, but we'll need to fully dry them before we deep fry them. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out on a towel, dry them off. And I'm actually going to pick out the ones that I like. So I'm going to pick big leaves, maybe some smaller ones too. Once they're dry, go ahead and set them aside on a plate. Now that it's been 30 minutes, I've gone ahead to take the chicken out. I've got one egg and we're just going to crack the egg into the bowl. Saves me a dish. Off to the side, I've prepared a plate of sweet potato flour. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the texture of the flour is a bit chunky with small pieces. And that's perfect for our popcorn chicken and it'll give us a good texture when frying. Piece by piece, we'll want to evenly coat the chicken with the flour. Using chopsticks here helps so your fingers don't get too messy afterwards. After coating the chicken with flour, it's time to prep a pan for frying. Today, I'm going to use my wok and I'm going to use vegetable oil. And since I always feel bad wasting oil when deep frying, I'm going to add just enough oil to cook a few smaller batches of chicken at a time. Heat your oil to about 350 to 375 degrees, and once your oil is hot enough, go ahead to add your chicken. Fry in small batches until golden brown, which should be about two to three minutes, depending on how large your pieces are. When they're done, remove and allow the pieces to drain on a cooling rack or paper towels. After cooking all your chicken pieces, you can then fry your basil leaves. Just be careful because the oil will splatter a bit, so I highly recommend that you use a long-handled spoon to place your basil leaves into the pan and also for removing. After the chicken and the basil have had a chance to cool for a few minutes, put all your chicken pieces into a mixing bowl and toss with a mixture of salt and white pepper. Be 
generous with the white pepper because that's what'll give us a really nice seasoning. Serve on a plate with the basil, and I like to top mine off with a sprinkle or two of crushed red chili pepper, also known as ichimi togarashi in the Asian grocery stores. See? That wasn't too hard, wasn't it? Now it's your turn. You go try this recipe and let me know what you think in the comments below. For more authentic Taiwanese and Asian recipes, check out my channel, Angel Wong's Kitchen. Thanks for watching!